बसमिल रहीम हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द पी एल थ्री हंड्रेड एग्जाम प्रपरेशन सीरीज वेयर वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग द थर्ड लर्निंग पैथ विजुअलाइज एंड एनालाइज द डेटा इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू टू एक्सप्लोर द टॉपिक फॉर्मेट एंड कन्फिगर विजुअलाइजेशन द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन आर द विजुअल्स विच एक्चुअली रिप्रजेंट टेक्चुअल डेटा एंड दीज आर द गेज कार्ड एंड के पी आई विजुअल सो यू हैव three kinds of card visuals then you have a gauge visual and then you have a kpi visual so let's start by the with the card visuals and see what kind of information we can pulled into the card visual so here i have simply pulled in my blank card visual and here you can see that it has just one field which it it requires and this is going to be a value field because obviously the text value has the uh, the the numeric value can go there you can also put a text value here but then you need to uh, use some kind of a measure we are going to have a look at that in a in a future video but let's just pull in the total cost measure that we have been using in all our previous videos and i'm just going to bring in this total cost visual here and this is the value that you are going to get so it is going to show you the value of total cost in the form of a number so this is the capability of a card visual so i cannot actually put anything else in the card visual uh, by just having uh, you know because there is there is no option to pull in any other measure and if you come in the area this area of formatting then here you are going to see that there are effectively two uh, formatting options which is the call out value and the call and the category label so the call out value is the value that you see in the visual so here you can come and you can you know just do the formatting of this number and we have already seen some of the options so i am not going to go into the details then the category label Uh, like the category label is the total cost here so if i just want to turn it off i can turn it off if i want to keep it on and then i can you know change the size the form the format and the color and and all of that so this is the option which is available for a card visual and you can only put a single value here there is a counterpart of this which is very much similar and let me just pull that also in the same view and that is the multi card visual so what is a multi card visual so the multi card visual allows you to actually put more values in a single card so now i do not have a restriction of putting just one value here so let me just bring in my total cost then i can also bring in my total quantity then i can also bring in my total transactions and you can see that all of these values are available now in the single card visual so i can just play around with this card visual and i can uh, you know just do the um, change its orientation change its position whatever i want to do that but the only drawback here is that you still got the options in the formatting uh, which are similar and the the formatting does not allow you to change the the to apply different formats on different measure so the format is going to be the same for the entire visual so if i want to change the font or the color then i will have to do it for for all of these visuals and it will be applicable for all of these visuals and there is nothing else that that actually um, and you know you, you you can do so there is this other option which is the card option so you can actually change the 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 border position then you can change the padding then there is this accent bar which is actually shown on the very left if you can just turn want to turn off you can you know turn it off so there is nothing much to add in terms of any other additional functionality which is there in the card visual just you have the capability to pull in more measures in the visual at the same time the last of the card visuals is uh, is this one which is a new card visual so i have just clicked on the new card visual here and this is a visual that has been introduced very recently and you can see that this visual is very much similar but this is it has a lightning icon to just differentiate between this visual and the visual that we have seen earlier so now let me just bring a, let me just pull in the the total cost value into this visual and let's see what is the difference so right now you can see that as soon as i pulled in the total cost i also see that i can bring in 
the other visuals all the, the other measures also so let me just go and bring in my uh, total quantity and let me just bring in my total transaction so here you are seeing something which is different from the earlier two visuals so for the simple card visual we had this restriction that we could just pull in one value and in the in the multi card visual we had this option that we could have we could we could pull multiple values so it has the capability of a multiple card visual but here each area each area here can be formatted differently so this is the difference or this is the capability which is now available inside the new card visual and in order to actually explore this new capability we need to go into the format area so in the format area you have these options which are available so you have the option to change the shape of this from rectangle to any shape that you want so you can change it into a rounding rectangle so this is applicable for all of the cards and then you have the option to have the snipped uh, option also so you can change and you know play around with with the shape of this and then you have the settings which are similar to the settings that we have seen which are the call out settings but the important setting here or which is the new setting is the card setting so here it offers you a lot more than you have seen in any of the earlier card visuals and the first thing is that you can apply the settings that you want in in this area from this area to either all of these or to the individual measures that you have placed or to the individual cards that are there so i can select any of this and then i can pull any of this into any of this so let me just select total card and let me just to total cost and then let, let let me just change the color of this so i will see that only this is applicable to this card so you have the capability of a multiple card but now you can apply different formattings on these multiple cards you can also bring in a, 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 an image if you want there you have this option to bring in an image then you have the option to pull pull the shadow so a lot of formatting options are available for this particular card visual i'm not going to explain uh, any all of these options just go and just play around with this visual and see what are the different capabilities that are there in the card visual next we have the gauge visual so i'm just going to click here on the gauge visual and this visual is again similar to the card visual in a sense that it shows you a numerical value but here you can see that we have the capability to actually see that the difference of the value the value that we are we are going to or the measure that we are going to have a look in this area in terms of the minimum maximum and target values so remember we if if you if you have if you have seen a gauge that there is a starting point of a gauge then there is a ending value of a gauge and then the current value uh, which is obviously the value which is being which is shown through the pointer and then you also have a target that you can put on the gauge so now let's go and see how we can actually put all the values put all the values in these areas and how these actually look on the gauge visual so here you can see that i have pulled in my total cost in the value so always you will be, you are going to bring in whatever you want to the, the measure that you want to visualize in the value see in the value pane so here you can see that this is the value of the total cost and it has automatically uh, picked up a minimum value and a maximum value if you want to change these minimum and maximum values you can just create a simple measure and you can just bring in the values of minimum and maximum here and right now this gauge is actually highlighting the area which is actually representing this value so normally it it would all all it would it would label this uh, in a way that the the midpoint the midpoint would actually correspond to this value but you can just go and change this now i am going to actually create a small measure and i am going to pull in the target value which is just going to be a dummy value and i am just going to pull the target value here and then we are going to see that how it actually looks on the visual so now what i have done is that i have pulled in a measure which is target the name of this measure is target and if you have a look at this particular measure this is the measure so i have given it a value of 1.3 million and i have just pulled it into 
this area and here you can see that a line here is actually on the same point that represents 1.3 million so here you can see that in case of actually monitoring some kind of a kpi or some other metric you can use this target and you can see that okay this is the current value of the of this measure that we are seeing and this is where this is this is the the difference between the current value and the target value and you can visualize this so this is kind of used in a lot of monitoring applications uh, in different sectors so this visual is is very important and you you can actually put something similar to a, a target or to a goal that you cannot do in some of the uh, some of the other visuals that we have seen so this is how you can use the gauge visual and if we come to the uh, settings area here then you can see that there are certain settings which are uh, almost similar so the colors data labels uh, the label of the target the, these these are some of the things that we have already seen but this is a gauge axis so here you can actually specify your own gauge so you can actually pick uh, specify the values of your own gauge so either you can put the values here in the in the minimum or maximum value or you can just go and specify some values here if you want and then the target label if you want to actually go and change the target um, the label uh, if you want to change the color or something like that uh, the font then you can actually go and actually do that so these options are are very easy and to understand and very easy to explore so i would expect you to just go there and explore these options yourselves the last uh, type of visual which uh, which actually represents some kind of a textual data is the kpi visual so so i have pulled in a blank kpi visual here and you are going to see that the values that we can or the fields that we can uh, pass to this particular visual are somehow similar to the gauge visual that we saw so we have a value we have a target but here we also have an option to actually see a trend so in in addition to the actual value we can actually see a trend so this trend is obviously some kind of a time field or a date field so let me just populate this visual with some of the values and then let's see what do we see, what what do we have on the visualization so here what i have done is that i have pulled in the total cost in the value field and i have pulled in the start of month in the trend axis and i have also created a simple line chart here which actually uses these two fields so you can see that this this area in the gray is actually the same as you see here in the line chart and the value which is being shown here is the value which is the last value so this is the last value which is 48k this this value which is the last value which refers to the last data point so if i just go and convert this line chart because now you have seen actually what is actually happening if i just convert it into a simple table so this is actually representing this last value which is 48 478 so this is this last value and this is how you can actually see the kpi because you also want to see that okay this is the last value and this is how we are trending and remember we had this target as well so let me now just bring in this target the dummy target that we created so now you can see that there is a change in this visualization so here it is telling me that okay this is your goal which is 1.3 million this is what is the current value and you are behind this current value by this much percentage and the color is red because we have not actually achieved that target because this is a dummy value so you are going to see this but it makes sense that if you have a monthly target and for the monthly target you are actually monitoring where you stand and you also see the trend and if the if you are achieving the target then you are going to see all of this in the green color and if you are if you are behind this then you are going to see everything in, in red color so this is a visual which is different from the rest of the visualizations uh, the only uh, visual which is closer is the gauge visual but here you are also have the capability to actually go and see a trend so the question on the exam related to this kind of a visual would could be that you could have some kind of a visual which shows this you could have something in this area and they would ask you to interpret the interpret the result so this is the last visual that we are actually going to have a look at 
uh, if you go uh, if you come in this area then we also have a few other visuals but these visuals are being covered in, in some of the other uh, other videos so i'm not going to actually cover these here so this has been a very long series i think there are nine parts to this particular uh, formatting and configuration of visualization so i've tried to cover a lot of options i have tried to cover most of the things which are important although it is impossible to actually go and uh, do all of the steps inside all of the uh, the different visuals but i would highly recommend you that you just uh, you know go and make sure that you know most of the options related to all of these native visuals and you are going to get some kind of a question which could be a scenario based question or you're going to be given a visual related to a, uh, any of these visuals and then something on the formatting or something related to uh, some of the, the configurations which are required to build a visual. So just make sure that you are comfortable, you know all of these visuals and the rest of the visuals uh, like the slicer, we have already, um, uh, I think the next topic is, is related to the slicer and then the rest of the AI visuals and some of the others, these are going to be covered in the subsequent video. So that's all for this particular video and I will see you in the next one.